So my last few videos have been different tips and tricks and ways to gain wealth and what you should do at the beginning of ladder to really help your character out. Now right here today in this video I'm showing you what took me about an hour of doing online on ladder to get all this good stuff, these runes and all these different gear in order to really level my character up and make that character so much better. And yeah I tell you this stuff because it's what I actually do and it works. Let's get after it. So the first tip was kind of go down to the Countess and get runes and make those rune uh, sets in order to gain wealth and kill champion packs along the way. So here's what I did. I take out a champion pack right here. Almost bit it, but don't worry about that. I mean, it's just a little IO rune, but it's kind of some of the runes that you can cube up to eventually get to the runes that you actually want and actually need. Now, no need to cut because I continued taking out champion packs on my way down and right here, ba-boom! That is awesome to find right at the beginning of the ladder. You get yourself a white monarch and you can guess what I'm eventually going to do with this. And then just a small upgrade right here for my mercenary and that is to actually to get crushing blow on your mercenary. Crushing blow takes a percentage of the monster's total health away when every time that you hit them. So getting crushing blow on your mercenary is absolutely amazing, especially when they don't really do that much damage on their own. Now it's just a unique gothic plate. Some people might be like, what? But yeah, rattle cage has 25% chance of crushing blow and hit Klaus's monster to flee, which is going to help his survivability slightly. So I found those two right back to back. Now we can go ahead and continue down to the Countess. What else can I find on my way down to just getting to the Countess? Uh, nothing actually, but I do get down to the Countess. This is a little bit tough. Because I am such a low level, I think I was like level 65 at this point. Take out her minions, take out the Countess. Ooh, maybe I should go drop a safety portal, huh? That sounds like a good idea, just in case. Go ahead and throw these in here. Take out the Countess, and this Countess drop for early on is absolutely nasty. I get a double key drop and a Lemurin, which you need to make that treachery for any mercenary. Because that treachery gives you that 45 increased attack speed and the chance to proc fade. So let me go ahead and make a little bit of room. We don't need one of these gems. And pick these up. Two Terror Keys and a Lem. Now that was all in one run, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm going to head over to Larzik with that White Monarch. I need to get myself a Spirit instead of this random shield I bought from a vendor. So there we go, four open sockets. Let me come over my cube and grab my runes. Here's a Tal, a Thul, an Ort, and an Amrune. 35 FCR in the first roll. Can the luck continue? Ah, would I actually need it? No, but at least I got myself a Spirit Shield now. Go ahead and throw that on. Now I'm rocking a Spirit Shield and the Spirit Sword. Now I'm a large proponent of this. I just got some garbage shield, but I found a three-socketed helm along the way somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug some topazes in it. At first I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll wait till I get to three perfects, but actually most of the time at the beginning of a ladder, why bother waiting? You're only gonna lose a little bit of magic find between that. So you get 64 magic find on a helm instead of waiting. Who knows if you're gonna get necessarily topazes in order to cube up to get to the perfect one. So I just went in and threw them in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead real quick here, and since I found everything I needed to do here for a caster amulet, it didn't roll with the exact skill, which is gonna be incredibly difficult to get. It's a very, very much luck if you get the exact skill you need, but at least I got an FCR amulet with mana and regenerate mana and a little, pretty good amount of lightning res on there. And as we continue on, oh my goodness, a lot of times people will have to search long and hard for those white monarchs and a lot of times I think it's because they're searching in public games. Somebody else is grabbing them before you do. You have to get into games where you're not running around in cows or the calf sanctuary or bale where everyone else is taking all the drops before you can get to them. Especially if you're a sorceress because you're going to be kind of a distance from the action and then you're going to be casting from a while away because you're going to be a little bit more squishy than we'll say the Hammerdens or maybe the Barbarians are up there or whatever. So we'll go ahead and continue down here. I find this unique ring not an SOJ on day one of ladder, unfortunately for me, but at least a magic find Nagel. Not terrible, terrible, terrible to find at the beginning of ladder. Now we'll just show real quick here. I end up going just the rest of the way down to the Countess here. I get the final runes I need to make an insight. But along the way, I didn't find a four open socketed pole arm. So I grabbed these runes and I actually had found a four open socketed bow. And now in this new patch, you can make insight in bow. So I decided. Why not? An insight is going to be mega important to have, especially on an energy shield sorceress specifically. 
Let me grab the gear off my old Act 2 mercenary. And higher up, uh, Hannah over here will help me out. Let's go, little lady. And uh, us uh, little dynamic duo of two ladies right here is going to go take out the monsters of evil. Give her that rattle cage, and we will go ahead and just make an insight in this random bow that I have with four open sockets. Good enough, whatever it is, you get the meditation aura to help out your mana recovery. Throw that on, and let's get going. Now, as we get going here, this is why you want to get that magic find on that helm early on. Boom! It's not a Shaco, but it is a poor man's Shaco, as it's so uh, called. It is the war hat that is unique, and that is a peasant's crown. So you get the one to all skills, you get vitality and energy, faster walk run, all different kinds of stuff, replenish life. It is a really good helm to get until you get that Shaco. And then now, just for an example of going around just killing random monsters everywhere, you can good things can happen. Here I am just doing Talrasha Tomb Runs, taking stuff out. And a random monster just dropped me a Shaco. Now, this was not the beginning of Ladder. This is from a few days back. But just going around and killing monsters as fast as you can in very, very, very weak areas, even if it's not the Cast Sanctuary, or you're not doing Cow Runs or Bale Runs or in some great level 85 area, sometimes the best option is just to get out and kill stuff as fast as you can. 